Hi, I'm really excited to show you this new uh, tip I've got for differentiating between existing and addition elevations on your construction docks. But first, some information about my giveaway contest. Hey, thanks so much for watching, commenting, subscribing. Because of that, I've decided to do a giveaway, and I'm excited to share that information with you. But hang on to the end of the video, and I'll tell you more info. Hey, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how I'm going to be creating elevations for new additions. So I've worked up this quick little uh, demonstration of a house. Here's the existing on the left, and I made a little addition on the right. Typically, my elevations would look like this but I just figured out a way to make them look like this. Check it out, follow along. So, typically I would send an elevation from my new plan here to my layout, uh, such as this right here. And I would delineate, um, you know what, I need to actually update all uh, line views because I changed those windows. But I would, I would outline the, you know, the work limit line, show what's new, show what's existing. And I can cert certainly still do that, but um, with this mod method, uh, really kind of separates out what just this describes what's new and existing so much more visually pleasing right um, so what I've done is I've created a let's turn off the cameras so let's create a, a demo elevation Here is our typical plan. I will draw a work limit line out here and just kind of say, you know, this is where the work's going. And we're going to send this to our elevation. Now, I also learned something new as we're uh, as I, as I send this to my layout page. I have not been checking these edge line defaults and pattern line defaults. Um, when I leave them unchecked, it's going to automatically use whatever edge line um, layers that you or edge line information, whether that's the line weight and color specifically line weight and color um, from the layer, say of the roof, the window, the door, the wall, etc., as well as the pattern information uh, that you put into that material. Um, but I'm from now on going to be checking these so that I use the edge line defaults. My default line weight is 18, my pat default pattern weight is 10, and we will continue to check the merge generated lines. Um, what that does is, as you send um, any lines that might be cross-secting, uh, intersecting, not intersecting, but collinear co with each other, on top of each other, um, it just it removes duplicates, any possibilities of duplicates in the, um, in the layout page. So checked with these three, and I'm going to send that to the layout page here. So this is my, this is what my new typically would look like. This is my demo plans. And then I'm going to close that one. So that might be my addition demo elevation. I'm just going to move this over here. And I'm going to go back to my existing plan and I'm going to pull another elevation. 
Now right now if I sent this like this we would have the lines and uh, the pattern lines set up. I found this today if I go into 3D and uncheck toggle patterns. I'm also going to go into 3D and go into camera view options and toggle shadows. Now I'll send this to elevation like so. Everything's line defaults, pattern line defaults, merge generated lines. Click OK. And I'm just going to move this elevation. I'm going to point to point move from a known point here, so the top of the gutter to the top of the gutter. We'll just line up right on top of that, like so. Now, this does mean I cannot put any text to the left of this new addition, but I can certainly open that up and say, you know, roof to match existing, roofing paper, half inch sheathing, etc., etc., etc. Call out the siding. Let's add some corner boards. Stretch that layout box over. And there we have this. My last little tip here, little trick, is I'm going to select this existing elevation and I'm going to open it. Not, I'm not going to double click on it. I'm going to or open the view, I'm going to open the object. So on my PC, it's or uh, on my Mac, it's Command E. If you're on the PC, it's Control E. I'm going to open that and change the line color to a gray for my edge lines. Now pattern lines aren't shown anyway, so I don't need to change this. Click OK. I might go ahead and change pattern lines because it looks like that's affecting the door. So I could actually, um, with this method, I could actually come in here and say I could delete the doors and windows from the new model. And I could have a new, you know, a uh, all like windows and door schedules, just what's in the new and what's in the existing. I could have different separate door schedules that way. Um, but it doesn't really matter because this this elevation with the uh, uh, without the pattern, this elevation is coming from the existing model. So it just looks really clean this way, really visible of what's new, what's not, uh, what's staying, what's going. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using this from now on. This part of the tip is done. Let me tell you about the giveaway real quick. You all subscribe, comment, and like my videos, and I want to give some love back. So I'm going to give back by offering half an hour of a personal online session with me to help you through any sticky spot in Chief Architect. How do you enter this giveaway? Well, go to my Facebook page, the link is below, and look for the post about this giveaway. I'll post it right at the top of my page there. Like my page and comment on the giveaway post about why you need help in Chief Architect, and I will select a winner on Valentine's Day. I look forward to seeing you there on my Facebook page. Hey, I hope today's tip has been helpful. Uh, if you've learned something, as I just did, and I've been using this for 15 years, drop me a like. Uh, that always encourages me, as well as subscribe and click the notification bell right down there and you'll get notified each week that I upload a Tech Tip Tuesday video. Um, check out my website, designbuildsolutionsllc.com, and you can see uh, my online home there, how I can help you and uh, with your projects. Take care. Have a wonderful week.